Welcome back. As I've mentioned in prior blogs, in addition to being a workshop facilitator, I'm also an instructor of facilitation and management consulting. In every single class I teach, I introduce them to Rick Maurer's seminal thinking on disagreement through his book, Beyond the Wall of Resistance. As facilitators, it can seem like there are countless things about which people disagree. Rick would say that there are only three reasons people disagree, though. I'd like to share each one of those with you and how we can leverage that framework in our facilitation. Rick would say level one disagreements are that people don't get it. They don't have the same facts or figures or data. I would suggest as facilitators, the easiest way to deal with this is to anticipate those topics that you're going to discuss and create a briefing book of common data that they can reference in the workshop. By doing so, you can actually address most level one disagreements before they even arise. Level one says they don't get it. Level two disagreement says they don't like it. It's not about the data. It's about their individual values. How do we as facilitators deal with a difference of values? A really effective technique is to delineate these options and to identify the, the, the pros and cons of each one. By doing that, we can lift pros from multiple options and help our participants come up with a fourth or fifth option that they hadn't even anticipated before that incorporates the best of the best. Those two levels of disagreement will be the lion's share of any that we experience as facilitators. However, occasionally we'll run into Rick Maurer's third level of disagreement, and that's they don't like each other. She'll say yes because he says no. He'll agree because she disagrees. I would suggest as facilitators, it is not our job to try to resolve level three disagreements because they typically started well before this workshop and they will extend well beyond it. So what do we do if we're faced with a level three disagreement? Let me give you two techniques. The first is this. Determine if consensus is needed. Often these disagreements will be about minor petty things that are not germane to the topic at hand. So ask questions like this, do we need to agree or can we agree to disagree? If it's not germane to the topic, often that will resolve it and you can move on. However, you may find a level three disagreement that is fundamental to the workshop topic and purpose. And when you find that you've got participants at loggerheads around something like that, I would suggest do this, appeal to a higher authority. How does that sound? Well, it sounds like we're not going to get agreement on this today, so let me capture that and take it back to the sponsor. Often when people in a level three disagreement hear that, they'll put it aside temporarily because they don't want to be out into the boss that they can't get along. So in summary, if you'll remember Rick Maurer's framework around why people disagree, it can be a very effective way to take any disagreement put it into context, and give yourself the tools you need to address it whenever it occurs. Thank you.